Good afternoon. Uh, the first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Jibutsa Tina Amadi uh, of the UK Parliamentary Liaison for Christian Solidarity Worldwide. And Jibutsa is joining us remotely, I hope. Please go ahead. As the Parliamentary Liaison for CSW, I am charged with working with elected members and members of the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, ensuring that human rights are upheld around the world in direct relations to freedom of religion or belief, Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Today, I'm particularly reminded that we should reflect on the profound responsibilities and opportunities that lie before us. The scripture from James chapter one, verse 27, offers a powerful reminder. Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for the orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. This verse speaks directly to our roles as elected members, civil servants, civil society advocates and parliamentarians highlighting the essential nature of our work in caring for the most vulnerable in society. The essence of our role is encapsulated, not just in the execution of duties, but in the spirit with which we undertake them. Micah chapter six, verse eight, elegantly frames this spirit. He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, and to love kindness, to walk humbly with your God. This directive calls us to a higher standard of conduct, to pursue justice, embrace kindness, and maintain humility in our service. In the corridors of power, our decisions and actions have the potential to shape lives and futures. This reality brings with it a solemn duty to use our positions not for personal gain or partisan agendas, but for the betterment of all, especially those who are unable to advocate for themselves. Our commitment must be to the liberation, care, provision, safeguarding, and assurance of justice, peace, and equity for every citizen. This reflection is not just about adhering to a moral compass, it's about recognizing that our true purpose lies in service to others. The hallmark of genuine ministerial service is measured not in accolades or achievement, but in the positive impact we make on the lives of those who are most in need. They're dejected and marginalized. As we navigate the complexities of our governance and policy making, let us be guided by these scriptural principles, urging us to be mindful that each decision, each law, each initiative should be a reflection of our commitment to justice, kindness, and humility. Our role in this platform for meaningful change is an opportunity to create a legacy of compassion, fairness, and equity. Let this reflection serve as a reminder of our duty to lead with integrity, empathy and unwavering commitment to the common good. Thank you. <laughs>